Hi, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Let me know if you find candy. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, they have a tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Crystal Boys are coming! Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Move in. What the hell? There must be desperate people. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Go help. Come on. Who's 
this lady here. Dutch always had a fondness for women. Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming! Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. Idiot.
you're in this state for the federal government, you're an enemy of Get this away, state. Get away, I ain't kidding. You know why you're here, don't you? Easy. Just you're an passing agent through. Of the government in the free state of Lemoyne. I swear. Boy. I love the Raiders. They'll end up. Help. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Nice to see you again, sir. Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. Ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Come on. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. <laughs> none taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! He just left the cathedral, Mr. Morgan! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank you. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it. Hey, you! Get your hands off of that boy right now. He stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. All right, all right. Forget it. Little shit ain't worth it. Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Last week, the preacher walked in the saloon, bought a bottle of whiskey, Baba! and then just wandered off. Oh, oh, my God. God. Someone kill him already. Who oh. that? Oh,
Looks like somebody escaped a sanitary. Every day. It's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges used to frost me. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> You didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins told you. I told you. <laughs> 